April and I'm in the Highlands of Scotland. And it is my absolute favorite time of year. I'm currently driving up a dirt track into the middle of nowhere where hopefully I'll catch a spring. And not only that, I'm gonna do it on a tiny river. It's as good as it gets. In my humble opinion, this is, this is as good as it gets. I know everybody has their thing in fly fishing. I know everybody has that one thing that they really love, you know. Um, and that one thing that it's almost more than, it's more than the fish. I know like, keep banging on about this. It's like more than the fish, it's more than the fish. The fish is why we do it. We go fishing to catch fish. But there's always this one thing that everyone has with fly fishing that is like their special place, their special thing. And it's, and it like transcends just that, that catching a fish into something that's kind of like food for the soul, basically. And coming to the Highlands in the spring is like, it's like my, my soul food. It just is, it's just really special. It's like the start of it all, you know? And also the reason I like coming in April as well is like, April is the first time when it's light past nine o'clock and you can fish right through till nine o'clock. And ever since I was a kid, that moment in the season when you could fish until nine o'clock at night was like a watershed. I was like, it's, it's, it's coming, it's happening. Summer's coming, we're nearly there. And it's, it's just a really nice time, you know? It's, I got a few things in every year which are like really special, like last time we were chatting about going to the Tweed with my friend Pete and we do it every year. And that's a really special moment for a different reason because it's like friends and it's good fishing and it's, you know, it's the time in the hut. The time in the hut is really cool. This year we got flooded off and we spent the afternoon having a few whiskeys and reminiscing about times in the hut. It's really cool, it's really special. And then, you know, in May I go with friends and we fish on a river and it's like the, the you know, the trip with all the pals and it, that's all about the sort of camaraderie and, and, you know, it's great. But this trip in April, it's when I get a moment to go by myself into the middle of nowhere and have like, and try to catch the most special thing try and catch a springer on my own in a tiny river in the highlands, you know. It's, and I think the reason as well why it seems so special to me is it kind of goes back to um, a book I read when I was in school, Highland River by Neil M. Gunn. And the, the you know, in this book, the, the, the central character starts off with him and he and he goes down to his little river in the highlands beside his house and he finds a 25 pound salmon trapped in the rock pool and uh and he catches it he catches it with his bare hands and that moment that one moment sort of goes on to it does it's not like it defines his life but it kind of does it's like a real pivotal moment in its life and i and i really resonate with that um that, you know that that feeling and that thing of like going to a little river up in the north and trying to catch a fish it, it brings me back to being a kid and it brings me back to that feeling that I had when I read that book and thought that's me um, that's what I do I'm that kid I'm that kid from the highlands who has to go to a river and has to try and catch a fish and dream of catching that big one and we live for these moments. As fishermen, we all live for these moments. And when they come around, they're really special. And, uh, and what makes them special is we have a chance for that moment every season. And it's really something, it's really something to cherish.